Gregor. Yes. Yeah, buddy. Hi. Oh, you collected all the hairs. All right. So, just a little weekly wrap-up video for my man. So, um, this week has been out. Yes, working on that. Um, building motivation, showing him what reinforcers look like. So, really making it a point to establish a marker system. So, marker is going to be oh, me, uh, words that mark a moment in time that we like or dislike something. Um, and for him, that's going to out, out, yes. Announce the arrival of food or, or reward or pressure if it's a like, no. So we have yes, good, okay, and no. Yes, good, and okay, those are going to be our reward markers. And what they're going to do is they're going to out, yes, bridge the gap between um, desired behavior, you keep stepping on it, desired behavior and stop delivery reinforcer so that we don't accidentally reward something between those two events. Um, and then of course no is going to announce the arrival of pressure. So when he's jumping up on me um, and moving him out I'm using spatial pressure, so that's an example of pressure. Out, yes. Um, yes is a terminal marker that is always going to announce the arrival of a reinforcer. Very good, yes. And how I deliver that reinforcement is movement. I want him, yes, I want him coming to chase after my hand. I'm gonna tap into his natural prey drive and make the, the reward event fun and exciting instead of just smashing food into his face. Um, so that, that marker means I like you to come take something from me. It's a terminal marker that always announces the arrival of food. Uh -uh. Nope. Good. Okay, sit, good is going to be a, term, or excuse me, a duration marker, good. I want to keep him in behavior, I'm really good. Reward him in behavior, I'll bring the reinforcement to him, good. And then, okay, is a trauma marker meaning the behaviors? <coughs> oh, excuse me. So, I want him to understand what those markers mean, what they announce and on all that good jazz. And then, we're balancing that with, oh, he's such a dork. We're balancing that with, Establishing boundaries, because very rude. Um, and jumping up and things like that, that's something that he's found to be out. Yes, rewarding, um, regardless if you like it or not. The act of jumping up is something that he finds fun. So I want to make it not pleasant, um, and I want to help him understand what I'm looking for instead. So like his calm behavior, I'll give him the attention and let him have all that, good boy. Um, but really, a big thing is going to be establishing spatial boundaries, also outside of the context of jumping. So you're, you're going to hear me say the word out a lot, and that is me asking for space. Um, and that comes within little pictures of um, right there, when he comes up into my space. Hey, Bubba. Out. Yes. Um, coming up into my space, going in and out of doorways if he's crowding the door. I'm going to out, move him away from the door. Um, once we get more into leash walking where he's a little bit more fluent with that, that's gonna be moving out, yielding for my pressure and moving out of my way instead of me having to like clamber and walk around him. Um, and that's gonna help him understand the picture of that jumping we don't like. So uh -uh. what everyone does, out, yes, is generally minor dogs coming up and getting attention whenever it's given away freely. And then jumping is the only thing that we don't like, so that's the only one that we fuss at. Everyone does the thing when they back up, and that's inviting him more into your space. When he jumps up like that, out. I want him, I want you moving into his space. You can put your knee up a little bit. Obviously, we're not kicking or anything like that, but dogs are physical. They communicate, they, uh, excuse me, they communicate physically. So if we're just, no, get down, blah, 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 all that stuff, and he doesn't really know what, what they, he doesn't have a conditioned response to those words. They mean nothing to him especially if there's no follow through with those words. So it's just more noise adding to the excitement you're fueling the fire. So when he jumps up like that, hi bud, out. Yes, I want to move into his space forcefully until he backs up and then I'm marking the gas number one. I'm throwing the food away from me essentially so that he, we reinforce that he moves back out of our space. So 
outside of the jumping and things like that, over the weekend, I, I recommend tapping into conditioning that response to the yes marker. I really use that one to build engagement. So you'll have them on leash and you'll start an environment, an environment that's minimally distracting. So it could be inside the house, out back, wherever he's kind of out, not super checking out and ignoring you. Yes. When he notices you, we mark and we play with that yes. So it's going to be yes, and then we go and get the food to pay him. So we'll walk around like this. Yes. Pay him for paying attention to you. And just build up from there. We're not going to start going into the neighborhood street where there's sniffing and looking at other dogs and other people and things like that. He's not going to offer up that attention organically. So yes, I want to help him find value in us as handlers so that we can translate that into a different settings. Oh my goodness. Right now, I'm only working this week, I've only been working with him in the training room because it's minimally distracting. If we'll go and sit the ground here and there, and behind me, behind the camera is a huge window that you can see out. The guys next door are always walking around. So like those are my minimal distractions. Um, yes! Yeah, the whole week. But build value on yourself, and then everything will be much easier from there. Rigor! Yes! That name recognition is going to be something that we trans transfer into his recall. Right now, I'm building value. Regular, yes. Building value in him responding to his name. So as soon as he looks at me, Regular, yes. Okay, run backwards. Let him chase that face closer. Yeah, baby. Out. Good boy. Regular, yes. because I want to make sure he's doing them a little bit more consistently before I expect that to be utilized at home. I don't want him to get confused or I don't want to create any disassociation where he thinks something means something entirely different. So we'll save that for the for next week's video. All right, if you have any questions, just send me an email and I can answer those for you. Okay, bud. Say goodbye.